There's a myth in our culture that relationships are supposed to be easy, right? And that real love means you don't have to work for it. But that's simply not true. A great way to ensure that you and your partner are going to stay connected over the long term is to have weekly relationship check-ins where you talk about what's working, what's feeling kind of off, how can you support each other better this week, this month, and is your relationship going in the direction that you both want? John Gottman, who's a famous relationship therapist and founder of the Gottman Institute, has found after studying thousands of hours of couples interacting that having relationship check-ins is literally the saving grace, the difference between divorce and staying together for so many couples. So here are some questions that you and your partner can ask each other in a weekly relationship check-in. And look, if you don't have time to check in weekly, maybe make it a monthly ritual. But either way, really make sure that you are scheduling time together to talk about what's working and what isn't and to give each other appreciations. A great way to start your check-in is to name something that you appreciate about the other person or name something you're grateful for. Next, ask each other, what would you like to be acknowledged for? Acknowledgements are a bit of a foreign concept in this culture, so let me explain. You may really want to hear your partner say, honey, I so appreciate that you've been doing the dishes so much recently, or I'm really grateful at how many hours you've spent taking care of the kids, even though I've been working really hard on this project. So think about things that you can acknowledge each other for, and think about what you would like your partner to acknowledge you for. Sometimes it can really help to actually ask for the thing you want to hear, even though it can be awkward and uncomfortable to ask. To say to your partner, I would really love for you to acknowledge me for this, gets them to say the thing that you so are hungry to hear, which is wonderful. And you might not hear it unless you ask them to acknowledge you for it. So go ahead and try that. Next question, is there anything that you need from me? Maybe this week? this month, or in general? Is there any way that I can support you better right now? Was there a moment of missed connection or hurt feelings this week for you? Give each other some space to just share, talk about what maybe felt uncomfortable, a moment that they felt missed, and try to not respond with defensiveness or explaining. Just listen to each other and say, yeah, I get that. Thank you for telling me. Really showing gratitude to your partner for sharing something kind of uncomfortable is really powerful because it shows that you respect their boundaries and want them to share when things are kind of uncomfortable. Talking about solutions to make sure that these moments of hurt feelings don't happen again is important, but it's best to start with empathy and saying thank you and giving them space to really talk about why that moment was painful. And then you can talk about solutions to make sure it doesn't happen again. Perhaps another thing you and your partner might want to do in this check-in is say if there's anything you would really love to hear the other person say they're sorry for without defensiveness, without jumping into explanation. Sometimes it can feel so good to hear your partner say, yeah, I'm really sorry that I was kind of snappy last week when you asked me to take out the trash. So see if there's anything that either of you would like to hear an apology for that happened in the past week so that you can let it go. Now, ask each other, was there any moment in the past week where you felt really loved and respected by me? And let your partner share so that you can both learn about the moments that really help you feel connected because you might not even realize it's happening. Maybe your partner loves it when you play with their hair at night and you really had no idea that that was something that they loved and that helped them feel connected to you. So share about a moment that happened in the past week where you both felt really loved. This is a tough one, but it's important to ask, is there anything that's been keeping you awake at night because you haven't told me and you want to share it with me? I know it can be really scary to share some things with our partner that we're afraid will hurt them or disappoint them, but if we really want an honest, intimate relationship where we're loving each other through the difficult stuff, we have to be willing to share uncomfortable things with each other. So in this safe, ritualistic container, it's a really good time to say, if there's anything that you haven't told me or that you want to share with me, I'm open to it and now's the time. Next question. How could our sex life be better? 
Is there anything that you want more of in the bedroom? Is there anything that you want less of? Or how could I support you more with your desires or where your libido is at right now? If you and your partner are having a big mismatch when it comes to what you're wanting in bed, I strongly recommend taking my course Intimate Instincts for Partners, which is all about identifying why we desire certain things in bed and learning how to negotiate a win-win situation in our sex lives. The link for that is below, and you can also find it on my website at lovewithjanelle.com. Talking about our sex lives can be really stressful sometimes, especially if we want really different things. But the most important thing to remember is by sharing our desires with our partners, we are not saying that they have to do them. We are not saying that they have to fulfill all of our desires. And we don't have to fulfill all of our partner's desires. We are simply being curious and listening and learning about our partners by hearing about what they desire and then creating compromises that work for both of us, never pushing ourselves or them past their boundaries. Another question is, What's a shared activity you're looking forward to this upcoming week? By thinking about something that you and your partner have planned, it reminds you to stay in connection and keeps the plans that you've made sacred. Next question. Is there something I can do for you this upcoming week that will help you feel more loved, respected, or supported? Take turns asking each other that. This is a great question because we often spend a lot of time together with our partners, especially right now since everyone's stuck in quarantine together. So ask each other this, do you need more alone time or more time together this upcoming week? Sometimes it changes week to week. Sometimes we're feeling kind of disconnected and we need more reconnection time. Or sometimes we're feeling like we need some time to reinvest in ourselves. You know, things go through cycles and can fluctuate. So checking in with each other weekly about that is really important. The last question for your relationship check-in is, is there anything else that you'd like to share? Give each other the opportunity to say anything else that needs to be said, and then thank each other for having this reflection time together. It can really help you and your partner feel so loved and connected to set this time aside, put it on the calendar so that you are really prioritizing your relationship and connecting through this intimate, vulnerable information. So I hope this exercise has helped and I wish you lots of love. If you want these questions written out and you want to do this exercise with your partner in a container, I recommend joining the Love with Janelle community where you will get exercises like this every month and you will have a scheduled time and a beautiful backdrop video in which to do this exercise with your partner with the prompts written out. So join the Love with Janelle community today. The information is in the link below.